Hey guys, Josh here and in today's video I'm gonna be checking out My Time at Porsche on mobile. So if you guys don't know what My Time at Porsche is, it's a simulation slash crafting game. It first came out for PC in 2018 and then one year later in 2019 it came out for consoles. And it is such a great game, I've played the PC version quite a bit and I'm really enjoying it so far. I've never had the chance to try out the console versions, however, I've heard from a lot of people that especially the Switch version has quite a lot of technical issues, and I know the developers are still working on it and putting out updates and improving the game here and there, but I'm very curious to check out this mobile version and see if it's gonna hold up. Uh, see how it's gonna be so let's just jump into it the first thing I want to check are the options so you have multiple uh, language and camera options here you've got sound options as well as performance so you've got better frame rate balanced and high graphics so maybe we can start with balanced and see how it goes I'm currently using a Pixel 3, that's my phone, I got it in 2018, so it's a 3 year old phone, uh, but hopefully it's gonna be good enough for this game, I think it should, so let's just start a new save file and see how it goes. Also by the way, this game, I got it for $7.99 Canadian. In your currency, it's probably gonna be something similar. I think it's currently 30% off, so it's a little bit cheaper. Anyway, it's quite affordable, and so there's no microtransaction. It's just a one-time purchase, which I is good to see with, with a mobile first. game. So they might think for the most part, it's gonna be the same content as you would have on console or PC. Um, so here you've got the character creation, the you can choose so your voice bad. just like in the full version of the game. So far, even though like everything is quite small, I feel like everything is quite responsive and very snappy and quick. Uh, so I'm just gonna make my character. I feel like there's something wrong with the lips. I don't know if it's just on my device, but I feel like some parts of my lips are missing. Uh, I don't know if it's the same on consoles, but I know that on PC, the lips uh, usually look a little bit better than this. You can have some facial hair, but I'm gonna keep my character quite simple. Just gonna change my name to Josh. And yeah, let's just start. So you can choose your birthday. So in this video, I'm not gonna go too much into the gameplay, but I'm gonna focus on the technical aspect of the game. So if you don't know what my time at Porsche is, I think you can find plenty of content on this game uh, on YouTube. So I definitely invite you to check it out because it is definitely a great game. Um, what I'm noticing so far is that there are lots of loading screens. There's just lots of loading screens in this game in general, but I think they might be a little bit longer on mobile, which I think it's acceptable. Uh, so here we have the little opening cutscene. And so far, so good, I think. It looks pretty reasonable so far. And we've got the voiceover just like in the regular version of the game, so I'm actually surprised. I wasn't sure if there was going to be voiceover or not, but that's good to see that they didn't cut into that kind of content. They still put all of these details and yeah, it looks pretty smooth, pretty good so far. So I'm curious to see how it's going to look in the gameplay. All right, so right when you jump into the game, you've got Presley. So we're gonna go quickly through the dialogues because that's the same uh, thing that you would see on the other versions of the game. So here we've got the movement and view control. So you can swipe and hold on the left half of the screen to make your character run in the direction you swipe. Move your finger further in that direction while holding to use stamina and sprint. You can see your endurance bar and with the right half of the screen you can rotate the camera and you can also tap sprint to automatically sprint and tap again to cancel and here you've got the action so there's one jump button and one item button and one dodge button so oh don't wander too far okay <laughs> i'm gonna follow him but so far the controls are pretty nice it seems pretty smooth it's easy to move the camera and move around and here's our workshop this place it sure looks pretty good. Wear and tear. What do you think? 
Looks homie. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the lips. It's not just my character. It seems to be all the characters have something happening with their mouths. So we've got a letter from our father. Thank you so much. By the way, if you guys are curious, I'm at 52% battery right now. So of course, it's a 3D game on mobile. It's going to drain your battery a lot. Uh, but we're going to see at the end of this video how much battery do I have left. And so here's what the UI looks like. Uh, so you have like the character here and you've also got your backpack here and options here. So depending on what you need, you can choose the option right away. Uh, but once you open the menu screen, it's pretty much like on the other versions of the game. So you've got all of your tabs right here. And yeah, as I said with the character creation, I feel like even though everything's pretty small, it's easy to see and everything's super responsive and snappy. So that's pretty good. And as you can see, when there's a special action you can do, uh, you're gonna get this little icon. So here I can repair. Well, I need some wood, but um, if I were to repair, I could do that using that button here. And with this one, I can punch and fight. And uh, if I go out, I get an exit button as well. All right, so let's move around and explore. So yeah, moving around is pretty simple and easy. The frame rate does drop a little bit. It does have a little bit of stuttering, but it's not too bad, to be honest. For a mobile version, I have to say I'm quite impressed. Of course, it's not perfect. You can see the field kind of disappearing when you go far away, but I think the distance is pretty good. You can still see all of the buildings in town. And you can see the little islands over there and all the buildings. And let's see the different settings. So this is on the balanced settings. So now let's go into the options and let's bring it down to better frame rate. So maybe we're going to get an even smoother experience like this. So as you can see, the field disappears even more, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit smoother like this for sure it does make a difference and um, yeah it's a three-year-old device so i think for most smartphones you should be able to run this game pretty well and of course if you have a tablet it's gonna be even better but yeah in terms of performance i think it's pretty good and uh, let's check with high graphics so this one i'm very curious to see so let's continue oh wow so the first thing i'm noticing is the lighting is so much better it's definitely not as good as the pc version this game looks so beautiful on pc but i'm very impressed i don't know if this is better than the console version but you can see now there's some grass and flowers that were not there before yeah it's very beautiful very vibrant and you can see all the details like on the tower over there and yeah let's speak with emily let's see if the dialogues are different yeah, so we've got all the voiceover and the dialogue is pretty much um, the same options as the other versions of the game. And I want to check out the fighting uh, and see how that goes. So, of course, you can move around like this. You can jump. You can dodge. And you can fight like this. I don't think I'm going to win because I'm just level one. Uh, but... Yeah, fighting seems pretty intuitive and going well so far. Oh my gosh, she's gonna knock me out. I'm just gonna surrender. Oh, I was trying to click on the X and it's a little bit small and I have pretty small fingers, but still it didn't work. So good job, Emily. All right, so let's do our quest. So I have to meet Presley. Um, so if you tap on the quest, you can see everything you have to do. You can pin and unpin the quest however unfortunately i don't think there's a way to track automatically or maybe if you tap on the map oh yeah go to mark so you can put a mark on the map and then have automatic wayfinding so that's pretty useful for a mobile game that's always something nice to have especially if you're like doing many things at once if you're kind of multitasking but yeah, just if you don't want to bother with the controls too much. But I don't think there's a way to just tap on the quest and go to the quest automatically. Which is something I wish we had. But yeah, you can open your map and basically just do it manually. 
So here's the town. It looks pretty nice. I have to say I'm very impressed so far. So let's go in. So the loading screens are a little bit long every time you enter a building. I think it's not too bad. So I'm settling very well. Great. Alright, so we're gonna go through this kind of quickly and then we're gonna make some tools and with the workbench and see how the crafting is different than on the other versions. You know one thing that's missing from this version of the game that I wish we really had that would make everything so much better would be some kind of cloud save that would be compatible with the Steam version of the game or the console versions of the game. So you could start your game on Steam and then you could continue it on your phone. I think that would be so much fun. Unfortunately, as of now, it's not something that's possible. So who knows, maybe with some updates in the future, that's something that will happen. I'm sure that would definitely help the sales of the game. Because now if you want to buy it, uh, if you want to buy the mobile version, you're going to have to start all over again. And if you have a lot of progress already, it's kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, I just need to get some more wood and some more stones. I have some letters here, so let me just check that. So I've got some special gifts. I'm going to take a look at that. I'm just going to gather everything first. Alright, so I think I probably have enough to make some tool now. Let's see. Craft. And uh, I'm gonna start with the pickaxe so I can get stone a lot more easily. And uh, okay, so I'm just gonna drag it in my inventory. Like this. I'm just gonna open it. Basically, you can move your tools just by holding and dragging. So your toolbar is a little bit different then on the PC version of the game uh, basically you've got five items that are visible and then you can scroll like this but I think it totally makes sense because it's just bigger and everything is easier to select so I think that's pretty good uh, I'm just gonna put this here and so I've got some gifts I got the swimsuit top let's try that I've got a swimsuit bottom. Let's wear that. And I've got a message chair um, that can restore a small amount of physical strength. A mushroom cabin. The fairy tale style mushroom house, a secret base for children, can be placed in the home. Sandrock box. So there's some stuff in there. And a pre order box that can give you a random item. So I did actually pre order the game. Um, it doesn't cost anything to pre-order it, but now it's kind of too late since the game's already uh, out. So I don't think you can really pre-order it since it's already been released. Uh, but let's see what we got. So, okay, so there's the massage chair. I'm going to place this here. Mush oh my gosh. Okay, so, that <laughs> so that's a really, really big house. And at the beginning uh, in this game, you're farm it's not really a farm but your your land your little plot is so small um so maybe that's gonna be for her later and then sandrock box by the way guys the sequel to my time at parsha my time at sandrock is gonna be coming out eventually uh this year in early access and also i think the demo is still available on steam if you want to try it out so i definitely recommend you take a look at that it's gonna be a fantastic game the demo i've been having so much fun with the demo so far so okay let's check what we've got so i got two rabbit headwear so it's definitely random you can get the same item multiple times oh that's <laughs> definitely a little bit too big for my character's head and mooney wall deco so okay so you can put that in your house so what a nice outfit i'm wearing today so all right so now let's equip our pickaxe and let's get some more stones and stuff so I can build a simple axe so I'm just gonna build my axe now like this so let's go see Presley all right and now we're gonna go to the assembly station so if you've never played my time at Porsche the assembly station is basically where you craft kind of bigger items so now I need to make a furnace so let's just go here. So you need a stone stool that you can craft using stone and then you need some wood. So let's build this. All right. And 
Oh, so from what I can see, they did make some changes for the assembly station. So when you're playing, at least on the Steam version of the game, you need to have the item selected on you. And then you had to go in a specific area where that item was needed and then place it. But here it seems like you can just, as long as you have the items, you just tap on the bubbles and it's going to place them automatically. So that's such a nice improvement. Actually, I'm really, really liking this change. So the stone tool, you can make it from the workbench. And then now I think I should have everything. So we just tap and tap. And everything is so quick. I'm really, really enjoying this change. So now I've got my stone furnace. So now there's just one last thing I would like to check out. And it's the ruins exploration or the mining. I want to see how it differs because there's quite a lot of different controls and things to do uh, in the mining. So let's check that out. All right. So it seems like we've got an icon to exit the ruins. And then, of course, you've got your pickaxe that you can use. One icon for the jetpack. And then you can see the little dots. And you've got an icon for the goggles, which are essential. So if you guys don't know how mining works in this game, basically, you can fly around the mines or the ruins, should I say, with your jetpack. So. That's pretty easy. That's one thing I was kind of scared of because like you can fly and everything and I wasn't sure how they were going to do this on mobile, but it's actually working pretty well. And then you can turn on your goggles here and you should see little dots like yellow dots that show you where you can get something. So for example here, and then you just scan it and then you just take your pickaxe and then mine until you get there and you should get some kind of treasure so let's see what we can get today and I don't have a lot of energy I have just 40 energy left I don't know if I'm gonna actually make it oh yeah I got it so what did I get I'm not too sure oh I think old thermos piece is that what I got I'm not too sure what I actually collected but anyway, I got some treasure, but that's how the mining works. Yeah, I have to say it's pretty good. And I'm just going to give my final thoughts on the game. As I said before, porting a primarily PC game to mobile is always kind of a challenge. And with what they did with the Switch version, I was a little bit skeptical. But I feel like it's definitely worth it, especially at this price point. I would say maybe if you're a really big fan of my time at Porsche and you tend to play games on your phone and you think you're gonna have the time and the chance, the opportunity to play on your phone, I would definitely recommend it. Um, if you already have it on Switch and you carry your Switch around, I maybe would recommend to just stick with the Switch version. But yeah, I definitely see myself playing this from time to time. Uh, but that being said, I would like to have some kind of cloud save with the Steam version so I could just carry my save file and like make some progress while I'm on the go. But yeah, that's not something possible so far. But I definitely think it's worth the price point. It's quite cheap. Also, the other versions of the game are actually quite cheap. They go on sale quite often, especially on Steam. But yeah, let me know what you guys think so far. How do you think it looks? How do you think it plays? Uh, if you did have the chance to play it, but yeah, I'm quite happy with this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Please click like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. And I'm going to see you all in the next video.